Hey, what's up guys? It's Yangbang, and in today's video, I've got some exciting VR gaming news to share from the game Hellsplit Arena. If you've been following along on my channel, you've probably seen me do my Let's Play series on it and seen some of the awesome combat that this game provides. It's a fantastic VR combat game, battling against scores of undead types of enemies in different arena-like locations. But I'm not here to talk about the game as it is presently. I'm here to give you guys an inside look at what the developers have shared with me to keep you guys excited for more health split. Being the great guys the dev team from Hellsplit is, they've given me a sneak peek at some never before scenes on what's to come for the future of Hellsplit Arena. Albeit though that these are just some scenes and snapshots that they've given me to share, they haven't really released too many details to me yet, as I can only assume that they want to release the big news on their own time. But I can't thank them enough for sharing with me these inside looks that I can now pass forward for you guys to see. In my talks with the devs, they've spoken on links how they are working on enhancing their game to allow deeper character creation and interaction. One of the most fundamental things that I agreed with them that makes for a good VR game experience is the ability of how much the players can interact with the VR world around them. In these clips, here are some updated body movements that they've been working on that show just how much better the player's characters are represented in game. In these clips, take note of the further attention to details in the articulations of the joints and how the rest of the body corresponds with movements. You can see how everything looks more natural and less robotic on the movements of the shoulders and when your arms are raised. The whole body moves together and not just the particular limb of your controller movements. And in this last clip, you can see how your body would remain in place while adjusting vertically, like doing a squat or bending over. So that's just a look at the new body and joint movements and how everything is starting to look more natural, but what about the most important tool for a VR game? Your hands. As you can see in this clip, from the current state of the game, hands and world interaction are rather limited at the moment. Open hands don't collide with certain objects, but the player body does, what I imagine to be for hitbox detection. Only when the player's hands are activated, or directly interacting with an item, does it then become responsive. In the coming update, we can see that the game's objects will become much more immersive to handle, as well as what I can assume, finger motion enabled for Index and Oculus players. Going from non-hand colliding interactions, to full toss and grab gameplay is something that I'm excitingly looking forward to. Items look like they can be bounced and balanced on hands now, as well as physically stacked and toppled over. But this is a VR combat game, not a VR LEGO sim. Let's look at some action now with the updated body system with the AI involved. In the current build, hands are again not very interactive with their environments or enemies, phasing through them if not directly acted on. Physical touch and melee can be performed though, but it has to be with an active fist. Conducting similar moves in the update, you can see now that your hands will be able to manipulate your enemies accordingly to how you interact with them. You can grab or pull at their bodies, apply pressure for a push, looks like anything along the lines of giving them a proper head crank or even smothering them in the face. And Hellsplit is a fantastic showcase of VR physics, so I'm looking forward to try out what kinds of takedowns that I'll be able to do in the update. Now for the most exciting part of this video, the sneak peek images that you guys can see firsthand with me that was shared by the devs for my eyes, and now your eyes right here. Now, I have zero context on what the images show for the next coming update, so it's all free game for you guys to speculate along with me. All I do know at this time though, is that the developers have been hard at work creating new weapons, new enemies, and also as stated in their Discord roadmap, campaign improvements and procedural generated labyrinths. So there's going to be a lot to take in and explore, but enough talk, let's see these snapshots.
Okay, now that I've let you guys see what's new, let's take a moment to digest what we saw and speculate what it all means. In image 1, we saw what looked like a leveled area with defenses placed around it. Gives me some strong arena type feels in the midst of a battle. Maybe this will be a new level to play on? One detail that did stick out to me was the fallen soldier that was laying on the floor. His skin doesn't look as pale and rotten as a normal zombie. Could he perhaps be a recently deceased living person? Maybe this could be the introduction to living type enemies. Or maybe allies. In image 2, we again see the similar settings as before, but this time with more background to examine. The dead beings in the picture somewhat do look like our current zombie boys, but I think they look uniquely different. One thing I did notice in this picture was how blue the sky was, and the only type of scary foreshadowing that I can imagine from a blue sky is that there was once peace to this land, but something evil must be rising to destroy this tranquil image. Maybe this arena will be a prologue to the dark and sinister arenas that we currently have. In image 3, this is where my curiosity starts jumping a bit. We can clearly see that there is a castle in the distance and a drawbridge right here. But what does that mean for gameplay? Is there a drawbridge that leads to a new area? Could this be the beginning of the campaign improvements? Maybe arenas will be linked by open paths now instead of portals that teleport us there. I would love to see a map system for this game, where we travel to predefined arenas over the current build of just being placed in a fighting circle with pretty backgrounds. And lastly in image 4, we can see the gatehouse to the castle from image 3. But what does this even mean? Does this mean we get a fight around a castle? Do we get a fight inside the castle? Or does this mean that maybe we get the whole castle as a fighting arena? I guess who's to know until the developers themselves come out and show us all the hard work they've been working on. Well alright guys, that's all I got for the moment. I'm super excited to see what's going to come next from Hellsplit Arena. I hope I equally got you guys excited too, and please, share all your comments and ideas down below in the comment section because you guys know I love hearing from you. And with that, I'm Yangbang and thanks for watching. Peace out guys.